in this chunk of aluminum, there's a part buried in here. We just have to dig it out. It's even labeled what part's in here. It's the adapter we're working on. First thing we gotta do is pre-drill and then drill for the mounting holes for the carb. All right, cool. We got mounting holes drilled for both carburetors. Now we're gonna switch to a 3 8 two fluid end mill and that's gonna remove the bulk of the material we don't want. Uh, and that's gonna take a while. So we won't stand here for the whole thing. I'll just pop you back in for some highlights. So that took quite a while. Here you can see the general part coming to life. Um, now we're gonna put a finish pass on this surface. Use a slightly worn out mill for roughing and a brand new one for finishing. And we're also gonna finish the top edge of these holes and also the bottom edge, but these are gonna get finished later these are you'll see they're going to taper uh, just part of the design but now for some finish passes Got our finishing passes done, so that's good. Uh, as you can see, these two center bores here have been finished on the top. And they've also been finished towards the bottom. And the reason I did that, even though they're gonna be tapered from the bottom, is I need a reference point once I flip this thing over. And of course, these two outer ones, we're gonna hit them from the top of the ball mill, so there was no point in finishing them off. Now it's time for some chamfers.
Okay, everything has been chamfered and looks pretty good. I know this looks like a mistake. I know it does, but it's not. There's a long-winded uh, explanation as to why I did it this way. But to keep it short, let's just say it has something to do with manual tool changes, cycle run times, and a very comfortable chair. Anyway, most of this will go away once we ball mill the perimeter. But other than that, it is looking really good. So now it's time to tap some holes. And I know this is the wrong tap for a blind hole, but here we are. Our last tool for the top side of this adapter, half inch two flute ball mill. And we're going to finish out the detail in here, around the perimeter, and uh, these two outer bores. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, so here we go, all done with the ball mill. Everything I can do from the top half of the part. You can see the uh, outer two bores. They are, well, they're not finished, but they're done from the top side. And uh, these have just just been finished on the rim here. But they'll, uh, they'll be machined from the bottom side as well. All four of them will be machined from the bottom. Uh, but this is everything I can do from the top. So uh, get it out of here, clean it off, deep deburr the back side and let's lay some carbs on it and see how it's looking so far. So here it is with two carbs sitting on top. I didn't bother to put the studs in because I just have to take them back out to finish it anyway. But you can see we got recesses for the accelerator pump linkage. Plenty of room, it, oh, well, plenty of room it looks like so shouldn't have any problem there. That beveled edge is slightly better look I think than a sharp edge would be uh, so now we got to flip it over and finish the back side so let's take a look at that before we do so these are 48 millimeter well almost there they will be when they're done but I could have just went straight through with these and that would have been fine but I knew I had to flare these out a little because you get restriction coming in. So if I'm gonna flare these out, I might as well flare these out too. And then the whole thing uh, can breathe easier. So that's what we're gonna do. And that's why I didn't finish this all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna flare it. So let's get this thing uh, back in the mill, upside down. 
and we'll do the, the machining from the bottom. So here we got it chucked up in the mill, upside down. Yeah, okay, had to make sure it was facing the right way. And we're just gonna rough and finish the perimeter before we get into the ball mill, which is gonna do the majority of the work on this side. There's our seam. I must have did something right because I can just barely feel that. I think I run the sandpaper over it. Nobody will ever know. I already countersunk these holes, but I do want to chamfer this edge here. I probably should have did it all at the same time. Got ahead of myself. Uh, but anyway, let's chamfer this edge. Nice, nice, nice. So our last operation, we're going to be back to our half inch ball mill. And we're going to relieve all these holes. So let me get my, uh, get my bit changed. My bit, my tool. Get my tool changed. Double check my file and everything and we'll be ready. Well, I think I got it right. I hope so. We might run into this one a little slow. Just to be sure. Well, I'm going to say that turned out really, really well. Look at that pathway. Nice and straight through. I don't think that's going to be any restriction at all. And of course these won't be. Cool. I think we got a winner here. Get it out of here and um, take a look at it. So this actually looks better than I thought it would. I mean, it still needs to be finished, but that came out great. I don't know if I can speak, well, I know I can't speak to how IDFs are going to act on top of a blower, but 
somebody who's smarter than me is going to figure it out. This is great. I like it. Looks pretty cool. Maybe I'll finish it up, bring it back in for a final shot. But as of right now, it looks fantastic. Oh, well, there it is. All ready to ship out. Cleaned up pretty nice. I think it's going to work out pretty good. All right. Thanks for watching.